happy Sunday, everybody. Uh, we really miss you guys still, and we really hope that we can start meeting again soon. Uh, but while, unfortunately, we still can't meet, uh, we have got a new sermon series ready for you guys. Uh, so we are calling it Quarantine Conversations. So we know that you guys miss each other. We miss seeing each other's faces. I know that we miss seeing you guys. Uh, so we want to be able to... Um, have you guys not just see us? You see us all the time. You see us giving sermons on Sunday mornings and you know what? You need a change of pace. So we decided to ask a couple different students to interview them, see how they're doing during quarantine, see how they're keeping busy and how they're spending their time. And we just really hope that these um, conversations will either inspire you to find new things to do, to do cool stuff, and to get excited about um, the time that you do have now that we're in quarantine. Even though it's an awful situation, we are blessed with some extra time. Um, and also to just give you encouragement of how to stay connected, not only to each other, but to stay connected to God. We know that this is hard. You don't have your normal routine. You don't have your normal schedule, but that does not change your relationship with God. You still have a God who loves you and cares for you. And we just hope that this time, hearing from other people, hearing from your friends, that it'll inspire you of different ways to stay connected with God. So uh, this morning is going to be an awesome morning. Uh, we have an incredible guest today. Uh, we are talking to Elliot Jones. Uh, we are kind of hear from her about um, things that have been going on, how her family's doing. Uh, so without further ado, here's Elliot Jones. Hello, Elliot. How's it going? Hey, Flynn. What's up? How is your quarantine life? How are you doing? You know what? We're actually doing pretty well. I, I'm pretty happy right now. Yeah? Uh, yeah. Good. That's awesome. So you're at home, obviously, but who, yes. you're quarantined with your family. Who is with you? Yeah. So we have mom, dad, Brooklyn, Britton, Jack, Lila, Ryan, Cat Peter Parker, and the dog Gryffindor, and yes. my fish. And the so fish. You cannot forget the fish. Um, we are all present. Everyone's present. Wow, that is a lot of people in one house. It is. It's how has that been? Like how like personal space? Like how is everybody managing being in like the contained quarters? Right. So it was very chaotic at first. I think all of us getting used to being together all the time again. Because before, we didn't have, like, a lot of family dinners mm -hmm. just because of the schedules. But now we have dinner together almost every night, which is really nice. But it's also very different. So I think we're all doing pretty well. It's just throats a little bit, but it's all right. <laughs> Has there been any, like, huge fights within the family? Or is it, like, pretty manageable conflict resolution? Pretty manageable. Okay. We've I started something that we call the Jones Quarantine Games. So about every weekend, we play one game, and at the very end of quarantine, we'll see who won the most games. So that has started some trouble. That's brilliant. It's, it's pretty funny to watch. That's amazing. What kind of games have you been doing? Well, we played a 11-year-old version of Assassin. So we all have spoons. And if your goal was to, you had to stab someone else with your spoon, whoever your target's name was. And if you were holding your spoon, you were safe. But if you dropped it, you could be stabbed. Oh. So it was watching my father sprint across our front lawn to stab his daughter with a spoon. <laughs> and that was probably the highlight of my quarantine. <laughs> That's incredible. Were your neighbors like real worried for you and that you were like chasing each other down? They're like, it's fine. They've seen <laughs> weirder things happen in our front lawn so I don't even think they ask anymore that is so great who is currently winning do you know off the top of your head my father oh which come on. everyone everyone is used <laughs> we don't know what's happening <laughs> it's like a total fluke it is we're like this is this is fake this is cheating <laughs> this is rude honestly that is so funny so where are you getting the ideas for these games? Are you like finding them on the internet or like coming up with them amongst yourselves? Yeah, you sh I've come up with almost every game and either it's like off the top of my head or I'll see it on like the internet or TikTok. You know, all of the good resources. TikTok helping us all survive quarantine. 
it really does. <laughs> That's what's true. <laughs> That's so awesome. Well, that's super impressive and really creative. So I'm very, very excited that you guys are coping in that way. I appreciate that. Um, how have you, have there been any like fun, besides obviously becoming a game master, but have there been any like new hobbies that you've been able to start while you're doing quarantine to pass the time? So I learned how to make pancakes, which doesn't sound like a lot, but considering I once set a fire in their microwave, being able to cook pancakes is such a big step for me. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> Did you like put metal in there or? I, I was trying to make one of those cute Pinterest like coffee mug cakes. Well, those are dangerous. Those can go bad really fast. Um... I couldn't tell you what happened, but it wasn't good. <laughs> That's so funny. It makes me feel better when I was 13, I set bagel bites on fire in the oven, and my mom was just really disappointed in my inability to do things. I wasn't mad that the fire happened. It was disappointed. <laughs> right? It was like a small fire and very manageable, and so she was just like, really? Bagel bites? Like, of all the things. I 100% feel that. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. Well, I'm so glad you're able to make pancakes. That's amazing. <laughs> um, so how has your, like, over the, I mean, we've been in quarantine about, like, two months-ish. Like, what have you been feeling personally during this time? Like, what has kind of been your evolution of just dealing with all of this over the past couple months? Yeah, so it's been kind of a roller coaster for me personally. I'm, like, a mix of extrovert and introvert. Which some may find hard to believe, but... I <laughs> totally believe. I'm with you. Yeah. So, at, for, at first, it wasn't that big of a deal, because I was like, I can sit alone with, you know, with, with, like, an excuse. Like, no one's allowed to talk to me. And mm -hmm. it was great. But then, like, next weekend, I just had three days where I was just so upset, and I just wanted to leave my house oh. and go to someone else's. And then I looked at, like, my camera roll, and I was, like, looking at all the fun memories, and I got really sad. But now we're, we're good again. I think I started reconnecting with people that I didn't talk to as much before. That's and I think awesome. that's a lot. And just kind of, like, build like, instead of, like, thinking about, like, what I'm, like, losing, trying to, like, keep going. Yeah, that's a really good attitude to have of, like, okay, now we have the time to do some things that we normally don't have the time for, like reconnecting and making pancakes. <laughs> that's Little things. awesome. Well, I'm glad that you're at least feeling in a better place right now. I definitely had that moment where I was just like, I have to get out of here. Like, what, what am I going to do? <laughs> exactly. It's so wild. Um, well, how have you during this time, since we can't like go to church and can't be with our people and be with our community in person, um, how have you been able to stay connected with God through all of this? So for me personally, I, so I also found I really like going on like walks and trails. Nice. Uh, so every now and then I'll find like a really pretty spot and do my Bible study there. And I think it's a lot easier yeah. to like thing when I'm like looking at like something really pretty. <laughs> also, um, one of my old friends from my summer camp reached out and we started a Bible study. So like twice a week, we're going through First Corinthians right now. And I think nice. like, to like talk to everyone about it, you know, just like church. Yeah, yeah. So you can like debrief stuff because it's awesome to be able to read it. But like sometimes you you have questions or you need to talk about it or you just want to like share how awesome you thought the passage was. Exactly. That's so nice you've been able to do that. Yeah, I find you... a lot. Wait, what? From, like, sorry, I I find like a lot more from like ver or, like verses I might have skipped over mm. or like different I didn't catch. Yeah, that's people. so nice. That's great. How did you guys decide First Corinthians? Did you just like choose out of the blue or? So <laughs> I actually suggested First Corinthians because <laughs> um, I had a list. I don't remember where I saw it, but it was like 13 chapters and we had like 13 weeks left till camp or something like that. And I was like, boom, that's it's what we're doing. Perfect. <laughs> oh. That's so great. That's so nice to be able to, like, reconnect with people and to be able to do it in a way that, like, brings you closer to God and closer to the people that you miss. That's really awesome. Right? 
I agree. Uh, so what encouragement would you give to people during all of this of like ways to help them kind of get their emotions up to help them get out of the house? What would you say to encourage people who are feeling really difficult right now during all, all the things? I think one of the biggest things that helped me was thinking about how much time we gained to do the things that we didn't get to before. Mm. So if thing you want to learn, like going on a bunch of walks you didn't get to before or learning how to make pancakes <laughs> or like doing the things you didn't have time to before that we always like wished we could, but use school or sports as an excuse and just handling that in to have like something to look forward to. Yeah. Well, and plus it sounds like with all of the like sports and stuff that got canceled that y'all's crazy busy life, like you get to have family dinners together, like I, sweet family time that you're normally have way too many things going on to be able to all sit down and do. That's so sweet. Exactly. Have your yeah, parents been like loving having everyone home or are they like, this is great sometimes? <laughs> My mom was like obsessed. She was like, this has literally been like the best month ever. So but she was very happy but she went back to work on Monday so she was like oh, well this is now like I'm now going I'm going back <laughs> <You know. laughs> I am ready <laughs> nice, but you gotta go buddy that sounds about right yeah it's like really wonderful and then it's back to normal and you're like wait no I did miss this I do like this normally <laughs> yeah Oh my gosh. Well, Elliot, you are awesome. I'm so thankful that you got to come and talk to us and share your wisdom because you're clearly really wise and a master pancake baker. Yeah. <laughs> so wise. Pancake. My mug cake will tell you the same. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Uh, you are awesome, Elliot, and I just really appreciate you. Yeah, thank you. I just have one. Sorry, I. I didn't I'm just gonna spring this on you. One final thing. Uh, what is your favorite Bible verse that you would want to share with somebody? I'll see if I remember off my head. Um, Colossians 323. Um, how does it you got this. Hold on. <laughs> like my log screen on my iPad. I gotta pull it up. Okay. Yes, okay. <laughs> uh, whatever you work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord and not for human masters. Ooh, that's a good one. Okay. I, that works really well. That was a perfect thing to end on. Uh, thank you so much, Elliot. You are amazing. And I just hope that everybody got to, uh, be encouraged through this and to just hear all about Elliot's time and, uh, comment below. Tell us what the heck you've got going on during quarantine. We want to know. We miss you. We miss you so much. Right, Elliot? We miss everybody. Yes, miss y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Text me. Text me. Text me all the time. Nothing better to do, so hit me up. Oh, my gosh. Well, everybody have a wonderful Sunday. We love you guys so much.